two towns which are sort of in competition with each other. Merci beaucoup. One is Marseille, mm -hmm. where Xavier is from. This is uh, the big uh, harbor of uh, the Mediterranean, where everything comes from all over the country. I call this sea, the Mediterranean, a big lake. <laughs> but you know, we do have proximity with so many different cultures, you know, Africa, um, North Africa, um, Middle East, Greece, Croatia, Scandinavia, not Scandinavia, Scandinavia. Uh, no, in fact, we're a bit north of it. Um, but yeah, Italians, we are close to Italy. <laughs> Another town which is in conflict with Marseille is Nice. <laughs> this is where I spent some years myself. And um, um, there is a common point between the two cities which are people are loud. <laughs> this is loud. This is a military culture. People live in the street to speak loud. In the street, whatever they say has to be heard. It has to go over the bus, over the church over the guy shouting so that you can buy his fish, freshly fished from the sea and, and so forth. So, in Nice, where I was growing up, not growing up, but spent you know, enough time, there was a church next to the building where I was living, and that church, after a while, felt that it was in my bedroom. And it was belling every half an hour next to my bed, at night, when I was trying to follow my dreams and to meet whoever. In fact, I was meeting the priest. <laughs> I was telling him, I had those amazing virtual conversations with that guy who I've never met. Like, why do you do this? Do you think you have to? Oh yes, my son. I'm not your son. Oh, well, well, whoever you are, yes. So, you know, I hold it for three years and then I had to move back to the civilization, to Paris. People in Marseille hate Parisians. I took with me a tune which I wrote when I was there in Nice called Nice Feeling. You know that the word nice comes from Nice, of course. <laughs> I am not making this up. <laughs> you know that you do speak French without knowing it. That's another French word coming from Greek, by the way. Because we do speak Greek without knowing it. We do speak a lot of languages without knowing it. And Victoria, Queen Victoria, invented the word nice because she loved Nice and she had a little mansion there, 200 rooms for her suite and her friends and she had her church, Anglican church and the Tsar of Russia too had his little mansion somewhere but anyway this is where nice comes from from Nice, Nice feeling
Thank mm-hmm. you.